Hi friends, today the topic of our discussion is insertional inactivation. Insertional inactivation is the inactivation of a gene upon insertion of another gene in its place or within its coding sequence. And this helps in the selection of recombinant colonies in recombinant DNA technology or gene cloning. First of all, let's have a look into what is a gene cloning vector. A gene cloning vector is a DNA molecule to which our gene of interest is integrated for cloning and which has the capacity to replicate inside the host cell. This is an example of gene cloning vector which is called as PPR322. It's a plasmid vector. So there are three essential features for a vector. First is an ORI or origin of replication that is required for replicating inside the host cell. Second unique restriction site that is within the selectable markers. These are the restriction enzymes and these are the restriction sites. PV1, PST1, PAMH1 and Salvin all are restriction enzymes and this vector has restriction sites for these restriction enzymes. The third essential quality is the selectable markers. Here there are two selectable markers. First is the tetracycline resistance region and the second one is the ampicillin resistance region. This region has genes that will impart resistance against ampicillin and also this region has genes that will impart resistance against tetracycline antibiotic. Now I am going to insert my gene of interest in this site and this is the BAMH1 and I am using, I am cutting at this region BAMH1 site and I, am, I have inserted my gene of interest. Upon insertion of this gene of interest in this site, this tetracycline resistance region is no more functional. The process is called as insertional inactivation. It is a process by which upon insertion of a particular gene in within a site, within a gene coding sequence, result in the inactivation of that particular gene. Here the tetracycline gene is no more active. Now let us look into how this helps in the selection of recombinant colonies. So this is a master plate. After the transformation experiment, we'll be getting three types of colonies. First is the non-transformed one without our vector. Second is the transformed with re non-recombinant vector. And the third one is the transformed with recombinant vector. Here we need to select this transformed with recombinant vector from all these colonies. And majority will be non-transformed. First of all, for the selection, the first type of colony is a non-transformed one. By growing non-transformed one doesn't have ampicillin or tetracycline resistance capability and this is a natural bacteria which doesn't resist antibiotics. So this particular group cannot grow on tetracycline or ampicillin containing medium. These colonies can be excluded very easily. The second group is a transformed with non-recombinant vector. This group can grow on both tetracycline and ampicillin containing medium. And the third group is the group that we need to select that is a transformed with recombinant vector. In the case of transformed with recombinant vector, this cannot grow in tetracycline containing medium as we have inserted our gene of interest in that region and that results in the inactivation of that particular gene called as insertional inactivation. But this group can grow in ampicillin containing medium. So the colonies which is capable of growing in ampicillin containing medium is the one which is the transformed with our desired gene. So we can select easily and we are, we, we are actually using the technique insertional inactivation for the selection. And this is done by comparing these colonies with the master plate. Hope you got the point. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.